This is part three of my six-part series using SOPC Builder and NIOS Suite and Altera Cordis version 12.1. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a simple binary counter. Just like in Lab 1, we're going to design another SOPC chip, but instead of using a four-wide bus input, we're going to use a PLD clock input. Uh, so just open up your SOPC Builder tool, and you will see that I have my CPU, my JTAG, my SysID, my uh, 8 bus LED output, and my on-chip memory. But instead of my input, I'm using a system timer. So what that system timer is going to do is I'm going to assign it to a pin, pin N2 of my Altera Cyclone board. And then the LED pins will get their own pins. This is done through the pin programmer, which is up here. Open up your pin programmer and you will see all of your LED outputs and your clock input. You set your clock input to N2 and all your corresponding LED inputs. For mine, I'm using the eight segment LEDs on my board, the green LEDs. So you close this and that'll save it. You recompile your design. So you should compile with no warnings. Next, you'll open up the NIOS 2 Eclipse by going to Tools. And iOS 2 software build tools for Eclipse, and you'll select your workspace. I have already made mine here. You'll go to File, New File, and iOS 2 application from BSP template. You'll load your SOPC file. Mine is Lab 3. And click Open. It'll populate with your CPU. Name your project name Count, and select Count Binary and then click finish. Shortly after you will populate on the left side of your screen with count and count BSP. Right click count BSP, go to properties, select reduced device drivers and small C library and click apply and OK. Then open up your NIS2 window, BSP editor. Make sure enable reduced drivers or and enable small C drivers are checked off. Then go over to drivers and enable small driver. Click generate and then exit. To program the board, go back to your Altera Cordis uh, block diagram design and open up your programmer. Mine is already down here. You'll get a window that pops up that looks like this and just click start. You will notice all the LEDs on your board go to steady. That means it's ready for flashing. Go back over to the NIOS2 uh, C compiler and build your project. Then right click count under your C folder, run as NIOS2 hardware. If it works properly, your console window should count from 0, 0 to FF in hexadecimal until it completes. And then it will pause for a short second and then recycle again. If you watch your board, your green LEDs should cycle until the LED, all the LEDs are lit and then it will reset. They count with the binary counter. If this is what you're getting, then you have done the problem correctly.